Hello everyone and welcome back to our course. In this lecture we are discussing what is the XRP ledger, commonly called XRPL. The XRP ledger was built over 2011 and 2012, originally called Ripple. The XRP ledger is a deep layered ecosystem of software projects that power and enable an internet of value. It's a ledger, meaning it's a decentralized ledger or a blockchain. And being a blockchain, the XRP ledger is secured by cryptography and powered by a distributed peer-to-peer -peer network of servers. The XRP ledger is unique from a ledger like Bitcoin because the XRP ledger does not require mining. The XRP ledger is a shared global ledger that is open to all, it's always online and entirely public. Anyone can access the XRP ledger directly from a web browser. The basis of the XRP ledger is the peer-to-peer -peer network of always on servers. These servers are sharing transactions using consensus protocols and processing transactions. The transactions are processed in blocks. Just like any other blockchain, it is a chain of blocks. Each block is commonly called a ledger version or a ledger. Each block contains the current state of all balances and objects stored in that block. The block contains three key pieces. First, the metadata about the current block version. This includes the index, the cryptographic hash or unique identifier for the block, and information on the parent block, which was the basis for building the child. As well, each block contains the set of transactions that were applied to the previous ledger to result in this one, because remember, the blockchain is a chain of blocks. With the XRP ledger, it runs with a highly reliable, efficient server called Rippled. This server manages the ledger database, and the database can only be updated according to the rules of that blockchain. The server enforces the rules of consensus and transaction processing, so it enforces how transactions or blocks are added to the chain. Rippled APIs, server application programming interfaces, allow users like you and me to look up data from the blockchain to administrate, administer the server and to submit transactions to the blockchain, like if we want to transfer XRP coin or if we want to perform some other action. The XRP ledger uses XRP cryptocurrency. Similar to how the Bitcoin blockchain uses Bitcoin cryptocurrency and the Ethereum blockchain uses Ether, the XRP ledger uses XRP coin. XRP is the native cryptocurrency of the XRP ledger. The first ledger, the first block, contained 100 billion XRP and no new XRP can be created from then on. XRP is measured precisely to the nearest one millionth of an XRP called a drop. So one XRP is represented as a million drops. There are also tokens on the XRP ledger. A token is any asset on the ledger other than the XRP cryptocurrency because that's the native cryptocurrency of the blockchain. A token can represent any type of value. Some examples are a stable coin. A stable coin is a token on the XRP blockchain. The stablecoin is backed by assets that exist outside of the ledger. Another example of a token is a purely digital token created specifically on the XRP ledger. Another example of a token could be community credit or a non-fungible token or NFT. All of these are possible with the XRP ledger. Tokens can be fungible or non-fungible. Something like a currency would be fungible because each coin is interchangeable for one another, like the dollar bill, every dollar bill can be interchanged for another dollar bill. You can also have tokens that are non-fungible. This would be an NFT where each token is unique and cannot be exchanged for another token. Tokens can be used for cross-currency payments and can be traded in the decentralized exchange. 
Join me coming up next. We're going to discuss the consensus protocol on the XRP ledger. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to learn what is the XRP ledger's consensus protocol. First, let's discuss consensus in general. Consensus is the most important property of any decentralized payment system. The consensus protocol was the solution to the double spend problem. So it is at the heart of the blockchain and the initial reason that the blockchain was so unique and helpful is that using a blockchain technology or decentralized technology, you can solve the double spending problem. The double spending problem refers to spending the same digital money twice. For example, if I send you an image over email, I'm sending you a copy of the image, but I can't do the same with money. If I want to send you money, I can't send you a copy of my money. That would be counterfeiting the money. It would be spending the same money twice because we would both have that money. And this is actually a problem with digital money. It's much easier to spend the same digital money twice than it is if you're using cryptocurrency. So the invention of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology was actually built to address this issue of the double spending problem with digital money. So thanks to the consensus protocol, which is at the heart of digital ledgers and blockchains, we can prevent users from spending the same digital money twice thanks to cryptocurrencies and the consensus protocol. And it's a lot harder to do so. A lot harder to double spend. The hardest problem with double spending is putting transactions in order. Without a central authority, if you have two transactions sent at the same time, there can be disputes about which transaction happened first. So this is also an issue. And with the consensus protocol, we address that core issue. Because with a consensus protocol, we have a set of rules that all participants follow. Every participant can agree on the exact same series of events and their outcome at any point in time. So we have the blockchain where all transactions are logged and they can't be changed or rearranged. And therefore, it's a lot easier to agree on what event happened at what time because the blockchain shows exactly when all events happened. And everyone has the same copy of the blockchain. So there are many consensus protocols out there. Let's talk about the consensus protocol that the XRP blockchain uses. Everyone who uses the XRP ledger can agree on the latest state and which transactions have occurred in which order. This is thanks to the consensus protocol. All valid transactions are processed without needing to have a central operator. That's because blockchains are decentralized. You don't need a central entity to control transactions and to verify what event happened at what time because the blockchain itself manages all of that and everyone can see when all events happened. All valid transactions are processed without having a single point of failure. The ledger can make progress even if some participants join, leave, or behave inappropriately, such as try to do something they can't or try to hack. If too many participants are unreachable or misbehaving, the network will fail to make progress rather than diverging or confirming invalid transactions. So thanks to the consensus protocol, we check transactions to make sure that they're valid and therefore we don't add invalid transactions to the blockchain. We are confirming transactions without wasteful or competitive use of resources. This is a unique advantage of the XRP blockchain specifically because its ledger, its protocol, can confirm transactions without an overwhelming use of resources. The XRP ledger's consensus protocol does not require multiple confirmations for immutability. This is again unique because lots of other blockchains like Bitcoin they do require multiple confirmations, which slows them down. But because the XRP ledger's consensus protocol doesn't require multiple confirmations, this makes it a lot faster without having to compromise security. So XRP ledger is faster and more efficient at processing transactions than the Bitcoin blockchain or other blockchains. 
So that is an introduction to the XRP Ledger's consensus protocol and its role. So now you can see it has a, a critical role in maintaining the blockchain because the consensus protocol is in charge of checking transactions to make sure that they are valid. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.